previously. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Knight, and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Curious Village. I'm trying to remember what file that I was on, but it looks like it's right here. I was thinking about eating some food, but then I realized I had been eating like all morning, so I'm kind of just meh. In the course of their afternoon long investigation through state mystery, Luke and Layton stumble on a rumor about some mysterious kidnappings. The professor has a hunch that Raymond's disappearance and these kidnappings must be connected. A quest for further details, the intrepid pair continue their search of state mystery into the night. Okay. Saint Mystery, let's do this. Saint Mystere, Saint Mystery, whatever. Place is closed for the day. We can come back by tomorrow. Alright. Hello. I'm sorry, young lady. Can you help us? We're looking for someone you see, and... Sorry, can't help you. And by can't, I mean don't want to. I barely even talked to Raymond, and I'm so not interested in the search. <laughs> but maybe if you help me solve this puzzle, I just might, you know, remember something. And just who do you think you are, young lady? So rude. Puzzle of aliens. <clears throat> From high in the sky, a pair of aliens observes humans using a bizarre object. Perplexed, one alien turns to the other and says, How strange. The earthling is opening a hole in the sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show the other earthlings where the hole is. I've never seen anything like it. What could these extraterrestrial visitors be talking about? Opening a hole in a sheet of paper and marking it with a line to show other earthlings where the hole is. What? What? Even something as common as paper can look bizarre to someone who's never seen it before. What kind of device puts holes in paper? It must have a needle or a sharp point on it. A stapler? That's high school stapler, right? No, not a stapler. Don't give up. Most people don't use this object often, but almost everyone has used this tool in school at one point or another. Try again. Is it a ruler? I honestly have no idea. Is it a compass? That's what they're called, right? A compass. The little thing with the... No? All thing I can think of is maybe a ruler.
what the fuck is that thing called? Um, I thought it was called a compass. <laughs> Uh, you know, that's got the, like, little ruler thing on it, and then, mm, abacus? No, that's the thing with the beads. Um, no, compass. Wait, does compass have two? Compass has two S's. Let's try that. Thought I spelled it right. That should do it. I just spelled it wrong. Every I'm a dumbass. The alien's description of a compass is pretty much spot on. Interesting how widely the perception of a single object can vary, isn't it? Yeah. I've never used a compass in school. Teehee. You know, I've heard that if you aren't careful walking around Satan's street at night, you can run into trouble. I bet Raymond wasn't being careful. What exactly do you mean? Anybody over here at night? Oh, hello. What are you doing over here? Excuse me, so sorry to bother you again. Have you seen Raymond since we spoke last? <sighs> Come, Luke, let's go. Are you like, can you talk to me or what? Okay, bye. I gotta like bring him coffee or something. Let's say go this way. Okay. I gotta go into Granny's house first because I missed a puzzle. Why, howdy. Do you often find yourself? Yep. Okay. Alright. Yep. You've told us this. I only missed one puzzle. Number 43. I don't know how I missed it, but I missed it. Three identical looking umbrellas are sitting upright in a stand. Assuming the owners don't check their umbrella labels, what percentage chance is there that only two people will walk off with their own umbrella? Only two? Zero. Because if two get it, then the third one will get theirs too. That should do it. Another puzzle solved. Unless she just leaves it. That's right. If two people manage to grab their own umbrellas, the third person is left with only one umbrella to take. Her own. It's impossible for only two of the three to pick up their own umbrellas. Yep. Cool. Uh, what is it? I was hoping to get another thing, but this is fine too. Um, yeah. Okay, bye though. Is this close? This is close. Hello, sir. Oh goodness, whatever shall I do? What seems to be the trouble, sir? Let's see here. Strong, young, and you look like you have a good back. Oh, thank heavens you came along. I beg your pardon? I've searched everywhere and I just can't find the thing. Oh, I suppose I must have dropped it when I was out strolling by the park this afternoon. I would go search for it for myself, but it's gotten dark out. It is awfully scary out there. Bah, nothing of the sort. It's just that, well, I'm no spring chicken anymore. My eyes aren't as sharp as they used to be. So how about it, Sonny? Will you help out an old man and go search the front of the park for me? What? But we're in the middle of our investigation right now. No, 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 Luke. No need to be rude. After all, the park is but a small ways away. And who knows, we might actually find some new information to aid our case there. Besides, helping those in need is the duty of any gentleman. Splendid, I'll wait right here for you to come back. I'm counting on you. One more detail, please, sir. What exactly did you drop? Drop? I... Oh, my. Now, what was it? Um, no, that's right. It was my watch. My best wristwatch. Bring it back to me, Sonny. 
Mm, I don't trust you. At all. Hello, the boys turning in for the night already? Not yet, I'm afraid. We're still out surveying the town. By the way, have you seen Raymond around today? Raymond? The skinny man with the pur big purple lips? No, he hasn't come by today. But you know, for all his fancy clothing, I swear he act he's actually quite the layabout. Probably off idling at the cafe. Why not go check for him there? I see. If that's the case, I'd like to go to the cafe right away. Do you mind keeping the front door open a little longer? Oh, don't you worry, Professor. Another guest arrived to stay in, uh, the night, and I'm setting up his room. Besides, my door is always open for a dashing gentleman such as yourself. Cool. Um, yeah. Alright, I guess I'll just head back this way. And you want me to check there, but I'm going to check this way first and see if this guy's over here. There's no way we can show our faces in the manor until we find some sort of clue. We must continue to investigate. I couldn't agree more, Professor. I see how you are. Actually, wait. Hey, I knew it. Lit up windows at night. And I got everything out of the barrels, right? Oh, nope. Apparently not. Awesome. Some more hint coins. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look, Professor, I found a hidden puzzle. Okay. Mystery item. Worth 40 picarats. One of the four shapes below has one less match than the rest of them. While studying these four small shapes, your friend approaches you with a riddle. I'm thinking of something that is necessary for human life. It appears in just about every house you've visited and decreases in amount gradually the longer it's around. What am I thinking of? Move one match in the picture to form your answer to the friend's puzzle. Is it food? How do I... I want to say it's food, but I don't know how to make this into an F. There we go. How does this sound? Legion's apprentice, save the day! Heh, <laughs> 1337, I'm so late. That's right, the answer is food. Make sure you visit the grocery store before you run out of snacks. I just actually went to the grocery store today, so. Wish all puzzles were this easy. Me too. That makes my life a lot easier. Okay, now let's see if I can find more hint coins. Gotta click on everything. Okay. I think I've clicked everything. Let's go. Hey, Zeke. Do you have the wristwatch? Hmm? Gerard lost something again? I think he's getting kind of slow. He's always dropping stuff. But what did he drop this time? Let me guess. It was a wristwatch. Hmm? Indeed, he did drop a wristwatch. Did you pick it up around here? Uh, yep. Well, actually, no, because Beatrice is the one to actually find it. The thing is, it was already late when she found it, so she decided to hold on to it till morning. Go to the end. You could probably ask her for it. So there you go. Now I've got your attention. Could you give me a hand here and solve the puzzle? The right place is giving me the willies, but I want to solve this puzzle so bad I came out here for help. The puzzle is all about stars, you see. Maybe you can make sense of them, of this thing. Hmm? Of course, I'd be happy to help you with it. Okay, guys, we're doing another puzzle. The biggest star. Legend has that the people used to stare up at the heavens and find images of animals or important events in the constellations. Looking up at the star-filled sky here, try to connect the five largest objects in space to form the largest five-pointed star possible. Okay. Connect stars by drawing a line between them. Make sure the line doesn't pass through any other stars along the way.
that one away. Um, how do I... Make an upside down star. I mean, that's technically a star. It's an ugly star, but it's a star. Luke, here's my answer. Yeah, whatever. I suppose Need to draw a big, beautiful star and connect the five largest object, large objects in space. Okay, well, I'll try again. a better star what if it goes here instead now that crosses over <sighs> I don't like that star either <laughs> No, not that one either. Fuck. <sighs> okay. Uh, but you aim to make the biggest start possible, five largest objects in space and connect them together. I'm trying to do that. Yeah, not helping. None of these hints are helping. I already know that. Are you kidding me? There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. Go away. I don't want to see this puzzle anymore. 
Oh yeah, now I remember. Beatrice from the inn was the one to find Rod's watch. Okay, yeah. Anything else you do you have? Pitch black out here and I don't know how to get home. I better just stay here. <laughs> I was hoping to find more hint coins since I used three of them for a puzzle and didn't give me any extra hints. Oh, I found a hit coin. So frustrating. Beatrice. Not quite. Oh. I heard word that you found a wristwatch out by the entrance by the park to the park. Oh, that old thing. Does it belong to you, Professor? Oh, no, no. It's Gerard's. He dropped it today while wandering around town and asked me to help him find it. Why am I not surprised? That man sheds more stuff than a cat sitting by a fireplace. All right, then. Here's the belt watch. You know... It figures that it belongs to Gerard. I was just thinking to myself, the professor is far too fashionable to wear this old thing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Christ. Let's see if I might watch, did you? But of course, a gentleman always helps those in distress. Speaking of which, I'm still quite worried about Raymond's whereabouts. You should probably return to our search now. Yep, St. Mysterio is strange like that. Despite its size, it can be quite challenging to find people. Sometimes it feels like running in a darn maze. Speaking of mazes, you ever heard of this one, Sunny? But we really must be... On the run. A mysterious bandit is on the lam, trying to escape the police who are hot on his trail. His entrance to this part of town... His entrance into this part of town is marked with an arrow. This particular bandit follows a particular queen and is vowed never to go backwards or turn around. Additionally, whenever he meets an intersection, he will always turn left or right. Now, as you can see from the map, this part of the town has multiple exits, which are labeled A through G. Of all exits, which one will the bandit never be able to pass through? Because he'll never... Well, if he goes this way... This way, and then this way, and then this way, and then that way. Okay. Go that way. He could go that way. He could go that way. Up, right, right, left, right. That's not really an intersection. Okay, so if he goes this way, turns right, turns left, turns right, turns left, turns right, turns left, turns right, he turns left, he can go here. If he goes right, he can go there. Okay. Turns left, turns left, okay. Left, turns right, turns left, turns left, uh, turns right, turns left, turns right, turns left, turns right, turns... Left turns right, turns right, turns left, turns left, turns right, turns right, turns left, turns right, turns right. Oh. He can pass through all of them, I don't understand. So if he goes this way, and then right, and then right, and then right. He goes this way. It would go left and then left. He goes this way and it goes up. It goes right, left, left, right, left. He can go that way. He goes up, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. He can go that way. If he goes uh, right, left, Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. He can go that way. If he goes right, left, right, left, left, right, right. 
I mean, okay. Right, left, right, left, left, right. Actually, uh, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. He can't go this way. Maybe he can't get to that one. Right. Left. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Left. Right. 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 Left. Right. Left, right, left, left, right, 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 left. Yeah, no, he can't get to B. Look, here's my answer. <sighs> Another puzzle. <sighs> okay. Sharp one, Sonny. You know, if you're looking for someone, you should ask around at the inner cafe. As you know, the inn is right by the entrance to the village. The cafe is right at the fork of the road just north of here. We've already searched the inn, but checking the cafe sounds like a good idea. We'll be sure to stop by. Well, then I'm off to bed. An old man needs his beauty rest. Thanks again for your help. Think nothing of it, sir. Uh, Liam. Okay. Also, do I have the rest of... Ooh, a journal. I have more things. Anything new here? Yep. The rumor mill is churning. Feeding the frenzy are the disturbing number of villager disappearances and the thunderous booming that is rumored to emanate from the tower above St. Mystery. Mystere. Uh, to top it off, Crouton says there is a shadowy figure running around the town kidnapping people. We need to find the local cafe to find out more. Okay. Our investigation continues even as night falls upon St. Mystere. We are on our way to the cafe through the passage below the clock tower when we bumped into Gerard. He's in a bit of a bind. He says he dropped something of great value into the park but is scared of venturing into the night alone. As I always tell Luke, a gentleman's first duty is to help those around him. So we've offered to aid in the search. <laughs> Deke pointed us in Beatrice's direction as she was the one who actually found Gerard's lost watch. Port Deke was in a bind when we found him, though terrified of being out in the dark. He refused to go home until he's he solved a puzzle that was bothering him. I suppose we should save Beatrice a visit. Save Beatrice. Beatrice mentioned that Raymond frequents a small cafe in town. We might be able to find him there. She also handed Gerard's lost watch over to us. As soon as we return it to its owner, as soon as we return it to its owner, we can get back to our investigation in a timely manner. With Gerard's watch returned, we're finally able to, finally free to return to our investigation of Raymond's disappearance. I must admit, I'm feeling a bit weary, and do hope we find him at the cafe. Awesome. Did I get new parts? I got new painting. I'm still a gizmo short. I have missing an ear. So sad. Mm, still don't have a whole lot of kinetic parts, though I do have more corners. And the inn. Space is still rather empty. Yes, it is. Both of you have a rug and bed and stuff, though. I think I should switch these. Yeah. Much better. All right, Luke, what do you think? Okay. Through the door. Okay, I said through the door. Um, hello. Good evening to you, sir. It's almost my bedtime, but I've got one more puzzle for you. You want to see it? I guess I don't got much of a choice now that I've talked to you a thousand times. What on earth is this message getting at? The following is written on a piece of paper you picked up. Blank is a thousand times blank blank. To turn this strange message into a proper sentence, all you need to do is fill in the blank with a single letter of the alphabet. But what could it be? You'll need to use the same letter for all three blanks.
Is it O? B. It's M. A meter is a thousand times a millimeter. That's right, one meter is equal to a thousand millimeters. Oh yeah, how'd you like my puzzle? Pretty fun, right? You did such a good job, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I heard that there's a man-eating monster in the tower and that's why everyone stays away. I'm not silly enough to think there's actually a monster inside, but the place is dangerous, so be careful in there, mister. Uh, bookcase, sleeping. Cool. I love how this random child just had a bookcase she just handed to us, because that makes sense. Uh, first off, I can run really fast and I'm a great screamer. Second, people who disappeared kept complaining of feeling tired, but I feel great all the time. Okay. Hey, cat. Professor? Oh, there's a cat here. Oh, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Animals are very dear to you, are they not, Luke? Well, I have just the puzzle for you, then. Cats and mice. Five cats catch five mice in five minutes. With that in mind, how many cat cats does it take to a hundred mice in a hundred minutes? A hundred cats. One mice, mouse per cat per minute. One hundred. I think I've got it. No. Five cats catch five mice in five minutes. It would seem to suggest that a hundred mice would be caught by a hundred cats in a hundred minutes, but is that really the right answer? It's five cats. Because five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. That's a mouse a minute. Wait, hold on. It's a mouse a minute per cat. I'm going to go ahead and bank on it being five cats. And we'll see how this goes. Five cats. Five cats can catch five mice in five minutes. If the mouse hunt continues another five minutes, you can expect a total of ten mice to get caught. In other words, the same five cats catch ten mice in ten minutes, twenty mice in twenty minutes. It's simply a matter of how long the five cats work. That's a big pile of rats. Nice. Wonderful job there, Luke. Yeah, another painting scrap. What it is about cats, Professor? I'm just a bit salty when it comes to them. Ooh, another hint coin. Aha! Awesome. Alright. Let's go. If I miss a puzzle, it'll show up later. Before I hit anything. Aha. Come on. I know there's a hint coin here somewhere. There we go. Hey. Hey, I'm looking for Raymond, are you? Yep, you're definitely looking for Raymond, so you still haven't found the guy. Listen, streets here are dangerous at night. Crazy dangerous. You can't go running all over town with a kid. Because that's dangerous. Crazy dangerous. I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish your poor judgment with the puzzle, but you'll solve it, yeah? Of course. Okay. OTTF. Here you have a small set of paper cards. On each card is a single letter, but one of the cards is missing its letter. What belongs on the blank card? F. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you can add. Why does it not like my F? Thank you. Just gotta be faster. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. That's right. The letters are written on the paper correspond to the first letter in the numbers one through ten. Yep. Well, it looks like you solved it all right. Of course, we all knew a brainiac like you would solve it. If you're looking for the cafe, it's right there. But it's always past that kid. It's way past that kid's bedtime. You know, way past. Besides, the tower can start making noise again anytime. Yeah. Trust me on this one, Professor. Get back to the inn. Yeah. Yeah. Get back to the inn. I'll go into the cafe in a minute. I want to go over here and see if there's any more uh, uh, hit coins. Mm, not. Oh, there's one. Come on, I know that there's another here somewhere. Just got to find it. Where are you, hint coin? Where are you? Oh. Hi. I was not expecting to be in here. Look, it's a hidden puzzle. I, I did not expect anybody to be in here. Tetrahedron trial. That's quite a word. Oh, brother. The image below is of a tetrahedron that has been disassembled so that each of its four faces lies flat. Which of the triangles should you insert in place of the question mark so that the tetrahedron is put together? Both red and blue lines continue on broken from one face to the next. This one. How does this sound? I did it! Yes. Excellent. Three dimensional visual three dimensional visual visualization. Oh my god, is crucial to solving this puzzle. Visualization. Visualization. Done. Let's go find more puzzles. I'll talk to you in a second. Hold on. I want to see if you've got coins in your house. Oh. I went back outside. Hey. Okay. I guess let's talk to you now. Hmm. Hey, what do you want? Prosciutto? Start drawing so I can get back to dinner. I suppose you haven't seen Raymond, the servant from Minehold Manor, have you? Gobble snarf. Nom nom. Of course I've seen him. He's kind of hard to miss with those huge purple lips, but I haven't seen him today. Now, if you haven't noticed, I'm in the middle of important business here. Could you leave me alone now? Of course. Please excuse the interruption. Just walk into this dude's house. Hey, have you seen this dude? Oh. What do you want? Start drawing so I can get back to dinner. Oh. Okay, bye. Oh, it's the mad guy. Hold up. I'll talk to you in a second. Okay. I'm looking for hit coins. Okay. Ah! I can't sleep because of this stupid puzzle. I've been tossing and turning for hours. I'm going to lose it for real this time if I don't figure it out. Ah! Find a star. 
Oh, holy shit. A star the same shape and size as the one on the right is hidden in the picture somewhere. Trace its outline below. Are you fucking kidding me? is really hard to do with the mouse. I can bend bodies. Are you kidding me? That was actually it. Roberta, I solved it. That was unexpected. Okay. You got it. Doesn't spotting a star earn you a free wish? It bet damn better. God. Hey, why'd you have to go and tell me the answer? I've been thinking up an answer for days now, and you just go and ruin it. Thanks a lot, you jerk. You were just impossible to please. You got anything else for me? Oh, sorry for blowing up on you there, Pally. That was rotten to me. Bye, though. It's probably where the umbrellas were. Hey, hit coin. Um, a brick wall? You seem to have stumbled upon a hidden puzzle here, Professor. On a wall? On a wall? Splitting it up. You have a big wooden cube that's painted red on all six sides. After splitting up the cube into smaller parts as shown below, you're left with 27 identical cubes in size, but varying the number of red sides per cube. Because how many of those 27 small cubes have just one of those six sides painted red? Uh, six. How does this sound? It's one on each side of the cube. Are you kidding? The middle one. Yes. Yep. See the middle one? You can't see. I can't go up there, but. That's right, you can dissect the block in your uh, head. If you can dissect the block in your head the way shown above, the answer is easy enough to come by. As you can see, the number of small cubes with one side painted red is six, one for each face of the larger block. Yep. That sort of stuff. Piece of cake, but let's go find more puzzles. Hey, there's the other hint coin. Any more? Ah, there's three here. Hell yeah. Okay. Why are you pointing? Why aren't the two of you up late playing detective? If you like solving mysteries so much, do me a favor and help me with a puzzle, would you? Okay. Fish thief. I think it's me. He looks like a thief. When you weren't looking, someone came by and gobbled up your fish dinner. The three brothers near the scene of this dastardly crime had this to say. Me? Oh yeah, I ate it. It was good, too. I saw A eat that fish right up. B and I didn't eat the fish. Which one of the brothers is lying? One of the brothers is lying to you, but which one? One of them? So go for the liar in the bunch, not the person who ate your fish. Uh, yeah. Well, I hear C. A and C split your dinner and each ate half. The answer becomes clear 
when you realize that if A is lying, B must be lying as well. The same thing happens when you assume that B is the liar. Therefore, the only possible answer is that C is lying. The scenario only works if C actually did eat some of the fish. Okay, or if they all ate the fish. The same. Well, you took care of that one in a hurry, didn't you? I knew I thought you were just another well-dressed city slicker. <laughs> you showed me. Well, I believe one good turn deserves another, so why don't let, uh, let me take a look at your fortune? Oh, this isn't good. I see a series of inauspicious events occurring during your stay in St. Mystere. Watch your step. Uh... It must be the drag having to keep up your investigation all through the night. How about a puzzle to take a, a break to take the edge off? I've got just a puzzle for a night like this. I'm totally not busy doing other stuff, but you know, it's cool. I did come looking for them. Monster! Oh no, the town is in grave peril. As you read this, a fearsome monster... Is that a tree with eyes? As you read this, a fearsome monster is launching an attack on St. Mysterio. Ward off the beast by stabbing it in the eye. And for goodness sake, hurry. The beast is in there somewhere, so keep searching. Is it the cat? It's not the cat. All right, you win. I'll use a hint. At a glance, the picture appears to be filled with glowing objects that could be eyes, but remember, there's only one monster attacking the village. Yeah, monster is huge, and so, in fact, so big that it could well cover the whole of the town. Well done. It seems your friend the fiend was hiding in the night sky. I certainly gave it what for. That's the moon. Um, that, yeah. You sure devoured that puzzle. Seeing as it's getting late, I should warn you both about the kidnapper who's been sneaking about town. Make sure you don't get snatched up walking around St. Mysterio. That'd be a great a shame. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Alright, before we actually go look in the cafe, I'm going to end that episode there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunar Knight signing out.